Hello everyone and welcome to School of Media and Communication podcast. Our theme for the semester is Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav, past, present and the future. As the second podcast of the series, our topic for today is Indian space programs, journey and future endeavors. 15th August 1969, a dream came true for many Indians. Vikram Sarabhai, the father of Indian space program established an organization with the aim of soaring high above the earth in a rocket. The organization, which is none other than the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has since done more than that. We started our journey in a small town called Tumba 59 years ago on November 21st, 1963. Vikram Sarabhai, with the help of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and many other brilliant scientists, launched India's first rocket. Now, Interestingly, the rocket, due to a lack of resources, was carried in parts on bicycles and bullock carts. While many look at this as a setback, the rocket was a success and landed us in the world of space race. We have, since then, made immense progress and faced some failures, of course, but we got up and never strayed from our path, and that, I think, is very admirable. Today present with me are Mukta, Ritiki and Aradhya who will be giving their views and opinions on space programs. As I mentioned earlier, it has been a really long journey for us from 1963 to today, that is 2022. How do you think India's space program has helped us in developing as a nation? Well, our first satellite was named Aryabhatta and it was launched to carry out communications with the ground stations at a very high frequency range. Its purpose was experimentation and it really gave us a kickstart in what will be a very long lasting successful journey of space research. We then launched other fruitful uh, missions also called Chandrayaan in 2008 which famously found water in the South Pole region of the moon and then we also launched several satellites for navigation and communication purposes. And of course, we cannot forget our beloved television, Doordarshan, which was launched on 15th September 1965, is a major user of inside satellites by Israel. Imagine not having television these days. We have become very dependent on it. And even though today OTT platforms like Netflix have become popular, television will always hold a special place in our hearts. I think we all remember waiting for our shows with so much anticipation and excitement and then not moving from our spot on the couch till it finishes. Uh, Hey guys, Um, speaking of childhood, I remember we were made to learn the names of these three individuals, uh, Rakesh Sharma, Kalpana Chabla and Sunita Williams. We found it tedious then but now... I can't help but get goosebumps every time I hear or read their names. I can only imagine the pride they must have felt when they went in space and hoisted the tricolor. We could never get to experience this. The only time we can see space is in movies. I think nowhere else. Talking of movies and television, sci-fi is a very popular genre. We have amazing space movies like Interstellar and Gravity. But we also have movies like Mission Mangal and Rocketry which show us the reality. It shows us the real world that we live in and what we have achieved. What do you have to say about that? Well, certainly it shows us the common man of Isro's achievements. We get to know about things which we wouldn't have on our own. We often tend to ignore things which we think don't affect us directly. But that's what these movies do, right? They make us aware. We could never have known the struggle it took to reach Mars, the amount of hard work put in it by scientists and the people at ISRO or the emotional roller coaster it would have been. The movies give us a, a good perspective in their lives, the pressure they must have been under, what they must have felt, and most importantly, uh, what it took to reach where we are today. Right, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Steering the conversation to a bit more informative account, I would like to ask you about the future plans of ISRO. Are there any significant and interesting projects ahead that we should know about? I'm so glad you asked this question. 
the answer to it is of course yes there are many projects planned ahead as of the most recent ones we have the gaganyaan mission it is going to be india's first manned mission and it will mostly be launched no later than 2023 uh, everything about this mission will be 100% ma- uh, indian the pilots the astronauts they have already begun training to go in space with more than uh, 9000 crores as budget i think we won't have any reason for failure it will it will lead to immense growth and development in the space field for india right thank you so much for such an interesting and informative conversation for all your input thank you mukta ritika and radhya thank you so much guys so to conclude with i'd like to say that the rockets and satellites launched by isro has certainly helped us in fields like communication scientific experimentation and navigation and have been an integral part of the country's development but it has also helped with india's social and political standing globally and made all of our indians heart soar high with joy and heads held up in pride for us sky is no longer the limit thank you so much